Assalamu alaikum, everyone. So, you know, putting on your contacts is always something fun, right? You're always looking at the different things that it has. But I guess the funny thing is when you kind of get used to it, it works. But let me tell you, it never gets more annoying to have to wake up and basically not see anything. But alhamdulillah, you know, it's there's ways to correct our vision. So got to use the advantages we have given to us, right? And yeah, it's just fun. My brother was like, are you really going to put that in your video? I'm like, yeah, why not? Natural. Look at me blanking like a madman. And yeah, you know, always drinking water first thing in the morning, right? You're just getting yourself going because it's important. And just kind of get in the habit of reading Bahari, reading Quran in the morning as like a normal routine. And I guess it's kind of something I always make sure to do because, again, this was preparing the day before Ramadan for the first Tarawih. So yeah, just, you know, setting up, being sure I'm hydrated. Yeah, I love that sound. Yeah, getting ready to set up, sit behind my desk, do some work. Yeah, yeah, I just... You know, it's interesting because I was just telling someone how when you get used to like editing or doing work or spending a couple hours sitting behind a desk, as someone like me personally who I really don't like sitting down on a desk and doing the same monotonous task over and over and over again. But at the end of the day, like Alhamdulillah, it's like you have to do the things that might suck a little bit just because you want the end result of what you enjoy doing, which is actually you know vlogging and talking to people and actually interacting with people around me and working on different like companies and the app i want to build and the youtube channel and talking about things that i think are important to talk about in society because nowadays right we see so much brain rot we see so much things in our lives that are just so pointless and i genuinely think that this is something where it's like if you want to change the world right change yourself and if once you change yourself and you actually have a strong impact then alhamdulillah you know you'll have done the right thing and you'll feel good about it and yeah it was just Really fun, but yeah, then I started watching the Liverpool game with my dad after, right? So I'm sitting there watching him. We're obviously shooting the shooting the conversation back and forth, just talking about the game and what the players' positionings are and how it's going. And it was a really fun game to watch with Man City and Liverpool, and it's just so tough because like City just have like everything going for them in the sense of the money and how much they spend. But yeah, it's all right. Liverpool gang, you know, Mo Salah gang. And yeah, just been, uh, in half time, I got back up to my desk, decided to keep going, keep editing, because again, like just like a little 15 minute span of break it's important just a little bit of work but then yeah i come downstairs and boom darwin nunez darwizzi and salah comes on it's 1-1 it was a pretty good game but unfortunately it felt like a loss even though we tied and this is just me just unpacking i had two clients in the morning that were uh, recording and stuff so then i was kind of setting the room back up cleaning it up again and yeah just getting everything going and after that i decided to go to the gym with my brother all right so we just did a full body workout a little bit of incline lateral raises we did RDLs, definitely had a lot going on in my legs. I feel like I don't get as quick recovery time as I used to. Then we did a quick mile on the treadmill as fast as we could. Nice little sweat. Now in a shower, get ready, get back to the desk, keep editing, and inshallah, prepare for Tarawih tonight. So yeah, really excited for that. Okay, so just got done with the gym, running a little bit, getting real active. Gonna sit down on my desk and do some edits now. It is super windy today and it's like snowing, light hailing. But what I'm gonna do before I sit down on my desk is I'm gonna do a weigh in and see how much I weigh right now and track, see what I eat in a day, obviously with Ramadan and everything going on and working out and being what I am and seeing how much weight do I lose? Do I still increase muscle? Am I still able to maintain my shape, size, my body health, right? So we'll do a quick little weigh in, see where I'm at fasted right now before eating breakfast. So we'll kind of get a rough estimate of where I will be within the next couple of days and weeks. So yeah, decided to weigh myself obviously in the morning. A little bit of fasted, right? I didn't have too much then. I was at 176.6. And yeah, alhamdulillah, you know, just one by one, you kind of understand that you do have to take care of your body no matter what. And a strong believer is better than a weak believer. So always take care of yourself, take care of your body, your health, and your mind. And this year's just me just basically editing that first vlog that I uploaded. And it's so funny to see in the time lapse, like all the little intricacies that you do. And like when you sit down, you can even see like the sun on my wall water bottle like setting and how it looks and everything but me snacking a little bit but yeah no just getting things done and i mean for me personally i do enjoy getting things going hey omar what you got in your hand qurans mashallah allah akbar may rabbina waiting for Please. sister to arrive safely at the door what a good brother Inshallah, 
so yeah now here's the next day we're obviously first day of fasting and everything so yeah it was pretty interesting you know just starting surah al-baqarah and reading the end of bukhari but as you see sometimes you just sit there contemplating life right when you don't get that water and food and this is just me sitting on my phone doing my daily atkar then you know getting back on the grill right beyond my computer doing some edits doing some little medial tasks trying to figure out some things about a gift card i'd gotten like 20 years ago it feels like but no just you know one by one then obviously going back to my planner going back to the journal one by one writing things down and always have a planner or a journal and track your day and plan your day it always helps Here's again a little uh, ASMR vibes of me just unpacking the uh, my screen protector because it was like cracked a little bit. And I was like, you know what, go into Ramadan, let me uh, situate my life up. So yeah. Yeah, we love that, some little ASMR. But yeah, I don't really mind doing this kind of stuff here and there. It's like little medial tasks that kind of situate your life and make sure you're getting even the little things done in life. So yeah, alhamdulillah, you know, next step. All right, guys, it's time to get ready with the last part of this room setup. And as you see, the dresser is looking awfully ready to be Bob the builder up. So I'm really excited to get this done because again, it's like the last thing in the room that kind of needs to be changed to kind of change the whole physical space from what I had in the last couple years of my life so again something new something changing and yeah i'm really excited and we have tarawih prayer tonight and fasting and kind of making sure that we get in this habit of constantly staying active because if we're not constantly staying active we're going to be thinking wasting our time using social media but for the wrong reasons right make sure you're staying active doing things that are benefiting you in the akhira and in the dunya so again making sure we're positively mindset shifting ourselves right make sure again we lock in and clock in here goes the time lapse. So yeah, no, this was definitely like a really enjoyable part of just getting it going. And obviously after building literally like every little other thing in the room, it was a lot faster and it was really smooth. And I'm happy, alhamdulillah, that everything fit perfectly, the stuff that I wanted to get. And yeah, I ended up putting it like sideways. So like obviously the angle of like where I'm sitting just pointed away from there because it was a little tight that way. But it fit perfectly and alhamdulillah, I'm really grateful for getting things going. And yeah, my brother used this part. So yeah, he was setting it up. Let's try this again. Ramadan Tarawih, part one. Right. You saw the moon? I don't know. I didn't see the moon. But we see it now. First Tarawih, inshallah. That's like the Mari thing. <laughs> Ramadan. That's what happens when you fast for like what, 14 hours? Yeah, you gotta hydrate, right? You gotta stay fresh. Yes, sir. One year of Ramadan. How does this Ramadan feel compared to the last? This is your first? Just gonna ask that. This question is that me? Yeah. yeah. Well, it's not our first Ramadan. It's the second Ramadan. <laughs> um, honestly, the difference this time around is like, I know what to expect. Yeah. Like last Ramadan, like. I didn't know I was going to be standing for so long sometimes, you know? Yeah. Um, and at the Turkish uh, masjid, we were doing like, what, like 20? Yeah, 20 rakaz. 20 rakaz, so, plus like extra. So, this one, it, it's definitely a lot faster, but um, it does feel smoother this year, mm -hmm. for sure. Like, you know what to expect. Exactly. You're flowing, like you've seen it before, yeah. so it's there. Yeah. And I'm not going to lie, like, it's a bittersweet feeling, like, is there's not a lot of people in the masjid during this ramadan compared to the last one it feels like maybe because the last one was smaller but mm -hmm. it doesn't feel like there's a lot of people here um which is like dang but also you've been doing friday prayers so you've seen it filled exactly but i do like when it's just a small gathering because it's like you really see who the real ones are you know what i mean <laughs> like, it's like you that really be showing up yeah the people exactly. that actually show up and like take it 100 percent serious like and you see them consistently year after exactly. year even when we go to here in Fej, like if you go here in Fej, you'll see even like, oh, who's really pulling up to exactly. Fej prayers as well. Exactly. So the next day, we basically had uploaded a video and stuff, and I had work later. So here's the building I work at. And yeah, I'll let you guys see what I get into coaching and stuff. And honestly, I love doing it. It really feels nice giving back. And, you know, I have a skill. I love teaching about it. So one of the things I do is I work with Perfect Touch Sports, basically private soccer coach. Love doing it. So I'll let you guys know what it looks like and how, what I get done over here. Yeah. 
go. Oh, yeah. No, it's really awesome. And I love the people there. Matt Baker, shout out to you. And then yeah, this is Coach Mike. Mike, he played at Moravian College, and I played at Susquehanna, so we'd play against each other. He, here he is coaching two different people, obviously, getting him right. Obviously, you know, looking good for the camera. So then I'll start a private session to get in I'm a lot of touches, you know, back and forth, back and forth, trying new things back and forth. And it really is like little disciplines that you kind of get better marginally day by day. Had her going back and forth, doing a little cool down run, have working on the outside of the right foot turn here and being aggressive with the turn and actually getting yourself to really sell your body into throwing your body around to protect the ball and then bang, turn and you're exploding into the space. So yeah, we just worked a little bit, and then we were working with Carrie here, and she was able to kind of get her warm up in as Emma was getting her water here, and then yeah, had them going one on ones, actually improve like kind of you know you need someone to challenge you when you're playing. So it's really nice when you get two girls or two guys that are the same age and can push each other really well. So it's really awesome, you know, it's doing little touches, little things, and yeah, Michael's about to be out, so he's telling me you know like hey. Well, you got to take over here. And I was like, yeah, you know, we're doing 1v1s. We're going to do a little passing drill here. We're zipping passes across, one touch, back and forth, back and forth through the cones. And it looks really nice, too, especially when they're on their toes here, right, on their toes moving. One, two, one, twos, going around, shuffling their feet, because this is a really important part where even if it, like, gets a little ugly, gets this way or that way, you got to run through the punches. Here I am just kind of telling them, like, how when you're defending or attacking and how to actually, you know, use your body to do the right things. So, obviously, at first, if you fail, you try again. You keep going. You keep going. And it's like the mentality you have, you know, it's always get better little bit by little bit, trying new things all the time and never give up. This is again when they switch from defense to offense and again, having fast feet working all these years, like, you know, you improve marginally day by day and you end up thinking, oh, snap, I'm getting, I'm cooking now. Like that was just beautiful fast feet right there. So then I was finishing up with her here, kind of working her through just going one, twos, one, twos around. Giving her, you know, one touch, one touch every time. Getting her to challenge herself here. And then touch, and then hit off this bounce pad, and then boom, finish every time. And again, it's these little tiny things that you realize that in a game, it really does help you improve. And working on her weak foot as well. Because again, you got to be able to be two-footed in this game. It was, again, look, sometimes it doesn't work out. But then day after day, time after time, boom, one by one, you start succeeding every time. And it's really nice because then you see the growth and it's really nice to see, you know, someone really working hard. And it was funny right here. She was like, oh, just down and back is one or two. I'm like, and I laugh here because I was saying like everyone wishes it was just down one, two, three and be done. And yeah, just being a little goofy here. It's obviously having fun giving her the medicine ball so she doesn't do some ab workout after. And yeah, this was again when I came home just working on some things, obviously editing some more things back to back going through it and it is okay you know it's again like i said you're talking but then someone actually facetimed me and alhamdulillah has been asking me about islam and things so it was really cool i was kind of showing him a little bit of notes as you guys see on my journal and my planner right there just different notes about sort of the book kind of going through and talking then yeah i got from my up from my desk because now i was like oh, i gotta set up things because i need to go on a run with my brother after so i was kind of you know journaling planning doing my god going through it obviously laying on the bed, like kind of getting drained a little bit because, you know, you're fasting, you're a little tired, but Alhamdulillah, Allah gives us strength to, you know, get through things and get things done. So Alhamdulillah, you know, and it's okay. But yeah, now we're about to go on this run. It was really enjoyable. Four quick miles with the bro. Uh, construction. Down. Prayer station. I want to leave some prayers under the tree. Oh. Oh. Yeah, fasting while running can get pretty hard, but just gotta grind it out. Two miles in, feel okay. It's a little bit of a side sticker, but not too crazy. Nice, beautiful day, though. Michelle Obama once said, For me, becoming isn't about arriving somewhere or achieving a certain aim. I see it instead as forward motion, a means of evolving, a way to reach continuously toward a better self. The journey doesn't end. Just past mile three, almost there. Feeling okay. A nice sunny day. A nice little breeze. It's pretty nice. Brothers, sisters, please remember to move your cars. The parking authority has been very generous to us. It is not right for us to block the roads. The buses cannot go through. So please 
شو اب ايرلي فايند باركينج ام كم جزاك الله كل خير والسلام عليكم You're the last one. Complete the mission. Third night. Like that, that, that been Crescent almost. Yeah, so means we're probably on track. Yeah, you know, it's definitely really nice to go to the masjid and pray tarawih with the brothers and sisters, obviously. And, you know, just having this local community is just such a blessing. Alhamdulillah, I'm so grateful for it. But Alhamdulillah, I really love uh, Imam Adam. Like, yeah, I have him on the podcast coming up soon as well. But, you know, he was a great reciter and everything. And he always does little khutbahs in the middle of tarawih. And, yeah, listen to what he has to say. Some of us are watching, right? I don't have a beautiful team. Some of us are watching, right? Rich businessmen and how they made their money and how they made a million dollars or how to make 10k a month. We're all looking for how do we uh, have a life of success. But I want to give you all a cheat code in the month of Ramadan that we tend to neglect and put it behind us. This is the concept of simply asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But if you look at the concept of dua, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one that facilitates every single thing. And that's why the beauty of the stories, the stories in the Quran, the beauty of it is we take the Ibrah. Allah says, inna fi dhalik in the Ibrah, we will Allah. These are stories for, 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 for people who think. If you look at the Prophet Ali in the Quran, every single one of them in the Quran made dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Which shows us that even the best people on earth, they rely solely on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. One part I want to mention, or a couple I want to mention, inshallah, one of them is Yunus alayhi salam. Yunus alayhi salam, is story short to, to summarize it, he left his people and they were on a boat and the boat was too heavy and they had to jump off so they pulled straws and when they pulled straws, it was Prophet Yunus who had to jump. Then they did a second time, it was him again. Then they did a third time, it was him again, he jumped off. So when he jumped off, as you all know, he was in the belly of the whale. And Allah said to Quran, Allah gives us a description. He says, he was in the darkness of the night, the depths and the darkness of the ocean, and the darkness of the belly of the whale. Then he called to Allah, he said, La ilaha illa anta subhanaka inni kuntu nabalimin. Then the next ayah, Allah says, Astajabna lahu. As a person yesterday, the person in every language, that fact, it shows a tartibi ta'ti. It shows that it happened right after another. Meaning, the moment he called to Allah, Allah acted the dua. First the jamna. And Allah saved them. And then jaynaam al ghami. And he saved them from the belly of the whale. So my point is that in the month of Ramadan, you have to break down in what you want from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the whole idea of being realistic, put that aside. Because the word impossible, it is not in the dictionary of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What you think is impossible, or you think how that can happen, or how is it realistic, it's not even in, the, in, 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 in Allah's attributes. Umar al-Khattar, Allah said that, said that, أَنَا لَا أَحْمِلُ هَمَّ الْإِجَابَةِ وَلَكِنْ أَحْمِلُ هَمَّ الْدُعَاءِ He said, I don't carry the burden of an answer. I know it will come. The answer will come. But I carry the burden of either making dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Which means that people forget that the outlet and the success of your life is to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Everything people achieve in life is from the help and you ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, I'm this age, I'm so single, I'm gonna get married, I, I mean, I'm broke, I'm gonna have a debt, how am I gonna pay off? That's not your job to worry about. Your job is to ask Allah and take the steps. However, it will come, it is going to come. But, but, but my point is, you have to develop this reliance on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that a lot of people have left. They go through every avenue, call family, ask friends, ask neighbors, do this. But they totally forget that the one who's going to help you is not other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the month of Ramadan is the month where you cry to Allah, you beg to Allah, you ask Allah for things that to you seem unrealistic. Ya Allah, I want to be a multi trader Ya Allah, I want to own companies and businesses. There's a brother, about two years ago, three years ago, he didn't have any money. He was rich. The brother told me, this brother is going to put the head right, and make dua, 
and he used to do a lot of istighfar. You see, okay, istighfar, istighfar. Every year, he said, all the istighfar. Now, the brother, two years later, he drives the best cars, one of the richest Somalis in the country. And two years back, the brother was a regular brother who didn't have much money. Which shows that things will come at the time. But our job is to ask about the system. And I'm going to end this, inshallah. The last point is to don't give up on your dua. Don't ever give up. Meaning, you're making dua for one year, keep going. Two years, keep going. Three years, keep going. Four years, keep going. The dream of Yusuf alayhi salam, where he wanted to be the king of Egypt. After how many years he went to prison, he got arrested. After how long it happened, then he says, Oh my, you brought me what, what I was dreaming about. Come to King of Egypt. Or the, the, the leader of Egypt. So to finish inshallah is this is the month where you ask for Allah. Continue asking for whatever it may be, if it's good. And be persistent in your dua, inshallah. It's not a month